Hi, welcome to The Throttle Cable. It's the channel about owning and running a Porsche 996. Well, if you ever watch endurance racing and the, uh, the Porsches in the GT series, you'll notice that all the cars in that class run a yellow tint film on their headlights. It's basically so any car on the track can work out what sort of car's coming up behind it. If it's yellow, then it's a GT series, and if it's bright white, they know it's a very fast LMP1 car. Um, today, I'm gonna to be taking some of this tint film and putting it on my headlights. There's two reasons for it. There is um, a sensible argument that says it may put the tiny, tiniest bit of protection on the headlight film. Then there's the normal argument is, I want it to look like a race car. So if you wanna see that, stick with me and I'll show you how it's done. Cheers. So actually removing a headlight is pretty easy. You just need to pull back this carpet. There's one tab which goes on this little fixing here. Um, you unscrew that, you pull this rubber plug out of this hole here. And then once you've got all that dismantled, you take the headlight removal tool from your, your kit, you slide it in, and then you simply arc it towards the back. And as you arc it towards the back, you'll see the headlight just pop forward. So that's now popped out, and you can just slide the head unit out of its fixing. I'm going to stop here because I think I probably need to do it with two hands or I'll drop it. But yep, that's now released and I can pull it out. Got the headlights inside and now it's time to get busy. All you need to make this happen is some very nicely clean headlights, so make sure you clean them up first. A spray bottle of water, your tin, a squeegee, some scissors, a knife and a hairdryer to help you heat it up and mould it. Should be relatively straightforward once you've got it on there. Um, spray the water onto the lens. That gives a little bit of lubrication for that film to be moved around on top of the lens. Squeegee the water out from the lens. Use a hairdryer to heat it up and make all the contours. Then trim around the edges. So let's see how we get on. Here's a quick look at the light. So I've got it pretty much where I want it to be the whole way around. Next step is to, to trim, heat up those edges and, and get a nice cut on it. That'll be what the, uh, the craft knife is used for. And we should have one lens complete. Let's see how it goes. I've got the cut around the lens pretty much right now, which is good. I put some heat around the edges and I'm just working out the last little bubbles. You do get some little ripples around the edges. You just need to try and work out. I might be able to pick up a few as we go around, but not a lot. There's a few there. So on top of this, there's basically a clear film on the back and a clear film on the front. So I'm going to rip off the clear film on the front now. And that'll give me a good view of, of where I'm at in terms of finishing up. And uh, I'll get it back on the car. So this is the second uh, light trimmed up. Looks pretty good. Again, I'm just going to go around the edges with some heat to help stick it down and try and get rid of any of those remaining bubbles, but so far it's looking pretty good. Went on easier this one. It's always better the second time around, no matter how many of these you seem to do. Both units done, so I'm going to go and plug them back in. Just a couple of things to think about. Remember, this is temporary, it's a bit of fun, and you'll probably keep these on until, I don't know, your loved one tells you you look a bit stupid, or you can't take the ribbon from your neighbours anymore. Um, but when you do come to take them off, heat them up. If you rip them off cold, you will take off the UV coating of the headlight. So yeah, just, just do, be delicate, heat them up with a, a hairdryer or a heat gun. Don't go crazy with heat, but just heat them so they've softened, then gently pull them back away and you won't do any damage whatsoever. Well, here it is, the finished article. Let me know what you think. But if anybody asks me why, I'm just gonna say, because race car. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. Got any ideas of what to do? I'd love to hear them.